Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node and React JS project series, we will learn how we can get a single product with the API. So maybe you have a question that why we need an API for single product. So I, I just want to show you here. Uh, in last video, we complete the UI for update operation, and now we want to prefill the data of product here. And that time we need only uh, data for single product that we want to uh, prefill here. So that's why we need a single product API and that we will implement in that video. And in next video, we will uh, just prefill this form. So first of all, we will uh, make a API route. Then we will get the data from database. We will test our API with the postman. And this is my Instagram account. If you want to follow me there. So all right. Now let's start with the route. So just let's define a get route app dot get and uh, then we can provide the url it will it could be a product or id because in second parameter we will send the id uh, so that we can fetch the data on behalf of that id so here again there is a one more interview question so uh, uh, will two url will conflict if they are same the answer is they will conflict if the uh, route method and the route both are same if the route method is different like uh, we have a delete and get method and uh, uh, route path is same that time it will not conflict and in our case we can see that the both are the different method so it will not gonna conflict so now let's uh, create here callback function that is the second one it have the two parameter request and response and uh, let's take a result here and uh, we can use here await keyword because uh, api uh, or actually product model will product model will be return a uh, promise here to handle it we have to use await but await can be only used inside the async function so uh, we have to put here async then await and we can put here product dot find and we will use find one because we want to get only one result so now with the similar like the uh, you can say that in the above route we have to just get the uh, data in the behalf of id so how we can get it we have to just mention here we are just matching the underscore id because uh, id is defining here with the underscore name and after that what we can do here we can simply just uh, get the id from parameters with the request dot params dot id right and we'll check here if we have data in result then uh, we can response dot send and we can send here result and if uh, there is a no result inside this uh, result literal then what we can do here we can just uh, send here response dot send and we can simply put here mm, any object let's say result no record found or something you can use any string here so now let's test it with the postman so let's find here get method this is already added and now we can use here products product and then id so let me get the id from uh, you can see that URL. So let's let's just uh, try to find out the M30. And whenever we are just clicking on a link, then we have the ID inside the uh, URL. Or you can get the ID from the database also because we are testing here data the postman. And uh, now you can see that we are getting the data. So let's say I'm just putting here wrong ID zero. Now that time you can see that the no result option is also working fine this is the else condition right so that's all for uh, this part and uh, in next part we will just integrate this api and prefill this form so that user can update the data and after that we have to create here uh, update api and uh, then we will integrate with the ui so there is a lots of thing to learn uh, in this series so please subscribe my channel provide your feedback and questions in comment box and thank you so much for your time.